What's up guys, Siobhan here back with a new video and you can see from the title and the thumbnail This is the laptop that I've been using. I've got a lot of comments of people asking me Hey, what do you use to edit? What programs do you use to edit? What PC do you have? Could you please let me know? So finally, I have this video for you guys So the one that I'm using here is the Dell Inspiron 13 and I'll just dive into everything right now guys So let's just stay with me first link first I picked up this one the new cable lake processor from the Microsoft Store and just to get the elephant out the room guys I'm going to drop a few specs right here so you, just to get it out the way and then as I said before I'll dive into the laptop so the one that I have is the 13.3 inch full HD touchscreen wide angle display and it features more screen and less bezel so I have plenty of room to play around with I also have the higher end model if you wish to say that because it's the Intel Core i7 8 gigs of RAM and it's the one with the SSD so with all that being said, it seems like a solidly built machine. It has an innovative 360 degree hinge. It can also do a bunch of cool stuff. For example, it could bend into four modes. So these modes are called by Dell the tent mode, which looks like that. Then you have the stand mode. And the stand mode is pretty good if you're drawing on it. Then also you have obviously the traditional laptop mode. And then last but not least, you have the tablet mode that everyone knows. And to be um, practical, the tablet mode is not something that I use every day. I more than likely use the tent mode or if I'm watching movies sometimes, I use the stand mode. So yeah, just to get that out of the way, the two in one, all that, yada, yada, touch screen, blah, blah. So everything has worked good so far. It's not particularly flashy. Perhaps it looks a little bit too similar to the MacBook lineups with the aluminum and all of that. You get the same, you don't, sorry, you do not get the same kind of experience when you're unboxing like an Apple product or an Dell XPS or even the HP Spectre. But I'm very happy to pay less money for packaging that will be thrown into storage anyways. So I really like the design choices that Dell has made. They haven't gone cheap on construction. They've kept the screen at 1080p. Anything above this kind of resolution is pointless on a 13 inch display in my opinion so on the left side of the laptop guys we have the charging port we have the HDMI ports we have two USB 3 ports and the headphone jack on the right side we have the standard USB we also have the yeah standard USB port I don't know why it's there <laughs> to be honest I do not know why it's there we also have the SD card slot and then we have the volume rockers as well as the power button the power button and the volume rockers are at the side just because of how thin this laptop is so the battery life with regular usage is probably around six hours give or take however it doesn't really bother me because the charger it comes with is fairly light and it has a very nice form factor to travel with if i'm somewhere with need for more power like more than six hours if i'm at a conference if i'm at a meeting then i suppose can say i always could just bring my laptop charger because it's very light also pleasantly there is not too much bloatware when booting up this device because it's the special edition keyboard wise the keyboard is comfortable to type on with a satisfying click it also has a backlit keyboard with two levels so if you touch it once it gets bright touch it once it gets brighter touch it another time it turns off so yeah if you care about all of that it has it it also has a spill rate proof thing so if you if you think on like working with coffee working with water on your workplace you don't really have to worry too much about spills but that doesn't mean you should go and give your laptop a shower no we won't worry like that but as, it, but as you can see dell had sacrificed the number pad because of the size so yeah it had to be done moving on down we have the trackpad and the trackpad is kind of small but it is to be expected it has an integrated button with the lower part where only a small gray strip separates the left and the right buttons. The surface is very smooth which provides quick cursor movements. Even moist fingers were not a problem. It's not glass though but it's, it seems responsive enough but at the same time it's a little rigid to click and slightly too much resistance while dragging my finger across it but I also use an external mouse because I need to increase my productivity. The webcam it comes with is nothing too special. I think it's 0. Point something megabytes. I mean pixels. It's not the best in the world. I don't advise you to use it. But in addition you get the infrared cameras that Windows call Windows Hello. It's a Microsoft facial recognition system which always works for me. So for example if you don't want to type in your password or all of that you could just put your face there. It scans it. You open it less than three seconds but for some strange reason when I set it up inside it recognizes my face when I go outside to try and use it it won't work so I'm not sure what's up with that speakers wise 
it has some integrated stereo speaker the sound is loud and clear for the size but it also has this program called waves max audio pro if you do not use this program with it the speakers won't sound the best trust me definitely use wave max audio pro when you're trying to play music from this laptop other than that you can just set up a bluetooth speaker like i do and you'll get even better sound the only issues i've got so far is with the fan as soon as you start to open a lot of tabs say for example i'm editing a video then i want to render the video so i render in the video then i want to start editing my thumbnail man oh man the fan kicks in and it's just it's just so annoying to hear those fans you cannot record a voice over while um you have to go in a different room because the fan is so loud but yes guys this is the laptop i use it's pretty good for the price i love it it's portable i bring it to school bring it from school i bring it to work i bring it from work it's get the job done it doesn't have an external gpu unfortunately but i can't see where that come into play for me the only way that come into play is when i'm doing intensive work like looking for thumbnails exporting from premiere pro then i want to edit my thumbnails with photoshop while exporting that's when i'll definitely need the external gpu but for me it's a it's a great laptop i love the quality i love how it feels i love the portability i love the flexibility as well and it's all in all a great buy so yes guys this is the laptop i've been using hopefully you enjoy this review hopefully uh i change your mind and if you're looking to buy this laptop it's definitely a buy especially if it's below 900 if it's below 800 canadian dollars that's definitely a great deal um yeah that's it for me for this review guys if you enjoyed smash the like button down below and always love peace and tweaks signing up